Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music for the first time. And today is the return of Monster Hunter. This is Monster Hunter World. We're going to have a little bit of a doozy here. We have two songs. Well, let me rephrase that. Two videos and a lot of songs. The first one we're going to be hearing is called The Invading Tyrant Basil Goose from the channel Soru Hunter. And then after that, we have a full-on medley of Kolv Taroth from the channel Dravonista. I have no idea if these can, if these characters are related or what. They are just from the same game. And damn, they look pretty cool. This is requested by a bunch of people. We have the good two, Amelia, the great Dread Cookie, and Gabriel. Thank you so much. Uh, it's been a while since I've, uh, I've heard Monster Hunter. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I still don't know who... Uh, it's one of the series I know the least about. Um, if you guys know the composers, let me know. Or if it's just been like one composer that's been there the whole time. But either way, we're starting off with the Invading Tyrant Basil Goose. Let's go. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Any information? Oh, there is information. I'll read it later. I don't want to be influenced yet. I really like Monster Hunter. It's so, like... So serious. Yeah, this sounds like just your ultimate demise. It's funny because I kind of, I kind of didn't really mess with Monster Hunter before in the past. I kind of didn't like it so much, but now it's like, I, I kind of get it. You know, now that I've seen the big boss battles and the epicness of them. You can just feel the intensity. I don't know how difficult Basil Goose is, but they sound... It sounds difficult. Oh, a little... It almost sounded like a bit of respect right there, the little section. <laughs> So sinister. Monster Hunter is awesome, dude. Imagine going to the gym. With this playing in your ears. It's go time. Sounds like a... Sounds like quite the orchestra back there. I like these kind of subtle parts of like heroic melodies. It almost sounds like the song is giving you a chance or something. Like this.
Oh god, what a what a preparation for the next song, which is an entire medley. Okay, so Monster Hunter is such an interesting thing in this channel for me. Uh, not even the channel, but just in general how I ingest video game music because I think to the untrained ear, it sounds something I'm guilty of saying before, but it sounds, you know, kind of just ambient and in, in a sense in a very small sense, kind of like a lot of other generic ambient stuff. But but not really. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's what I initially thought. Um, and there's not many games I can think of on this channel where they've had a sort of like arc of me kind of not caring for it and then me being really excited for it. There's not many. I usually just kind of like everything and unless something's really, really bad. But I never call it Monster Hunter bad. It's just I didn't get it. I didn't get it. And while I still don't get it, I never played it. I've seen some footage here and I'm and just from that footage, I understand. It's it's all about that that it it seems I don't know how difficult these games are, but it seems like it's all about that moment. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a lot of gameplay and then boss fights or if it's just like boss fights all the time kind of like from soft games. But whatever it is, whenever you get to these what I'm guessing is a fight here, it sounds like, okay, this is it, you know, like this music is now like, this is it, it's very serious. And it kind of gives you this adrenaline and kind of frightfulness, which amplifies you to play your best. It's kind of like a make or break kind of thing, right? Like you can either get nervous here and fail, or it can have you, it can motivate you and, you know, take you upwards. It's kind of no gray area with music like this. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty strong. And I think because of all those reasons, I can actually say that, I know this may sound kind of weird, but I can actually say that Monster Hunter doesn't really sound like any other soundtrack to me. It has its own flavor to it. There are similar soundtracks out there. There's, you know, kind of, just sim let's just say similar stuff, but I think Monster Hunter has pushed a little through to the point where it sounds like Monster Hunter to me. It's a little more intense. It's one of the most intense soundtracks I think I've heard. Which is pretty crazy. You know? You'd think that would go to, like, maybe any of the, again, FromSoft stuff. Or maybe... Oh, God. I don't know. Some of the FF15 fights. What else? What else has this kind of big sound? I don't even know. There's so many. I can't even think. But, but Monster Hunter... Yeah, dude, it's just it just sounds so intense. Like it really kind of like, captivates you right away. Almost in like a taunting fashion, if that makes any sense. Like like the song is is just as menacing as whatever the boss is. Now, with that being said, I actually wonder now if there's any diversity in Monster Hunter. I'm not sure if I've asked this before. But a lot of the music is like this, right? A lot of, oh, and God of War was the other one that I kept thinking when it has, like, kind of intense music during fights. But now I wonder, like, is there any... I mean, there has to be, surely. But I've yet to hear anything that's kind of calm or something that doesn't sound like this in Monster Hunter. And I'm so curious if there is, if there's, like, overworld music. If there's music at all in the overworld, is there an overworld? Is it all just this orchestral, hellish, demonic sound? Just, just curious, because I really wonder how they would tackle it. Because if they do, then I think I could, I could say that... If they don't, it's fine too. But if they do, I'm just saying me personally, I think I would, I would put that as one of the best soundtracks. For variety six, but I mean, I guess we'll see one day. All I could think about with this song, though, was uh, it's hard to put difficulty into a sound because a lot of it sounds so intense. But this did sound like a very difficult boss, or at least a very meaningful boss. It's kind of hard to say though because of the Monster Hunter, every song almost could sound like a final boss theme. You know what I mean? It's it's like intense every time but again i don't know if i've heard low level bosses i don't know if i've heard final bosses i don't know what i've heard i just know i've heard 
a lot of music that belongs to wyverns, dragons, sea creatures, but I don't know where they go and who's important, who's returned, who's new. All that's still foreign to me. All I know is the music at first kind of was whatever. And now I'm like really looking forward to it because it's just, it brings me this kind of alertness and it wakes me up. Imagine this being your alarm clock, you know, <laughs> you wake up immediately. Okay, so that's uh, Basil Goose, Basil Goose. Looks insane. Is he like lava or something? He's got these kind of, a, looks kind of like a rock formation. All the monsters look so cool, too. Anyways, let me know uh, what you want about Basil Goose. This one, same game. This is a whole medley, so I'm guessing this is like the whole fight. Do we get footage? No, n no footage. Uh, Kolv Taroth. I like their names, too. Uh, we're going to have Phase 1 battle theme. Arc Tempered. Phase 2 battle theme. Phase 3 battle theme. Arc Tempered and Phase 3 and Victory Themes. Okay. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong about this, but I'm pretty sure that's kind of like the same formula for the rest of big fights. They kind of go in that order. I could be wrong. But I've heard I've heard Arc Tempered before. Something about mounts as well. Anyways, Monster Hunter World. I'm excited. Cole of Taroth. Full medley. <laughs> this is almost 12 minutes. Strap in. I'm going to assume these images are like pretty straightforward. So like this is when you approach them or something. Ooh, another looking fire lava looking one. Look at those horns. All right. Let's immerse ourselves. I feel like I'm going on a roller coaster. Just starting. So this is phase one. It's already started. I'm gonna try to follow along with the timestamps. Okay, so I'm guessing the image is gonna change with. The so this is arch tempered. Phase one. I'm guessing that's a state. Damn, this thing looks awesome. Holy crap, it's huge too. The horns are the size of like a redwood tree. Is it arc tempered or arch tempered? Also, is that just a common phrase or is that a monster hunter like exclusive phase? Let's find out. I'm guessing this means like starting to get upset. Seems to just all be Monster Hunter. So let me know what that means. What's that referring to? So it's kind of like a warning state or something. This is crazy already. before the storm.
music like this makes me think what a Monster Hunter movie be cool or would it be like super lame? It's gotta be done right, you know, that kind of thing. But I don't know. I mean, how how are the stories of these games? Are they pretty prominent or is it just like a side thing? I don't know if Monster Hunter has like returning protagonists or known protagonists or if they even matter. It seems to be about all about the monsters. Alright, where are we? Phase 2. I'm guessing each phase lasts at least like a couple minutes. Percussion. Organ. This thing looks devastating. Ooh. I do love me the organ. Feels so menacing. I feel like I should be doing anything but sitting. I should be doing something. All moments. It's almost like the song can kind of speak for itself, or the monster can speak for itself. being completely lit up only by the fire here. Oh. We're moving up a little bit. Let me know if, if you are out there as a fan if you listen to this kind of music outside of the game i'm sure there are plenty but just let me know if you particularly do because when i think of music like this as good as it is i don't know if i would really find myself hearing it outside of the game i would love hearing it in game though and i would be so like in there but I feel like hearing this outside of the game would just make me want to play the game. I don't know if this is the first time I've heard organ or not in Monster Hunter. It fits. Arch Tempered Cold Tora Phase 3. The vocals have come in. Oh, maybe it's volcanic. I feel like Monster Hunter is one of those games. Where like no matter where you screenshot it, it could be a poster or something. There's so much visual flair going on.
Oof, man. Yeah, I need to be like walking or doing something while hearing this. It feels like there's so much energy and I'm just like here. This one has a bit of a nice melody to it. Not as menacing, but still menacing. I can't explain it, but it feels like at this point of the song, like maybe tears can actually be happening because of how epic everything can be. I'm only experiencing maybe 10% of what the song actually is, you know what I mean? I feel there's so much going on internally and emotionally. Hearing this, I could totally see someone being like, Oh my god, this game is insane, it's so beautiful. And I'm only getting just a glimpse of it and I feel that way, that's crazy. This is the last phase, except for the victory at the end. Which may or may not be proof of a hero, which I don't even remember if that if I knew what that sounds like. But I was told that was like the ending theme. There's a melody here that actually sounds a little bit like FF15, a little bit. Victory! Congrats. How many hours did that take you? Oh, I can totally feel that, like that, that satisfaction right here. Felling the huge beast. Oh, it just sounds like that. That's interesting. Okay. You know what's cool about Monster Hunter, besides like everything really <laughs> is uh it's one of the few games here that i've done like medleys on i don't really do medleys or big long videos but it never feels that long with them because i'm so like interested in what's going on you know normally an 11 minute video of any kind is going to feel a little like it drags and it's just like okay you know but but i'm always so and, and and i just have pictures what did i have like four or five pictures imagine if i had the footage but I want to reiterate, it's not about always having context. If anything, this channel is about the complete opposite. It's kind of more of me just guessing, but not even guessing. It's it's just hearing the music and appreciating the, the music for what it is. And that's kind of the, one of the reasons I always ask if, uh, if, if you do listen to this kind of stuff outside of the game. And clearly, yes, obviously there's uh, people that do it. This video has 700,000 views on it, so obviously people do. But... Um, I'm speaking for me, obviously, because I can only speak for myself. Uh, when I hear this, even even if I played it, even if I experienced it, because I've experienced similar, right, so, similar kind of themes in games, even then, I, I never really have like gone out of my way to hear it on my own outside. It's more, it's always like during the moment and right there and then, unless. You know, people watch these and then it's just like to relive those memories or talk to other mutuals that, you know, experienced that moment because it was so priceless or whatever. You know, I can understand that. But I'm, but I'm actually curious if anyone actually just listens to the music by itself. Um, and if so, why? I'm just I'm just curious. Nothing, nothing bad. I just I just personally wouldn't do it. I, I guess I just favor more uh, like in my in my regular off time. I just I just prefer like hearing more melodies and stuff like that. 
This is very much a... Well, all of Monster Hunter to me sounds very much a product of its current emotion. And I feel like it does it so well. I can, I can only... It's so weird because I can only experience it so much. You know, I'm getting like... What did I say? 10%? Probably if that. I don't even know. You know, I'm hearing the music. Yeah, sure. But I'm not seeing the buttons on screen. I'm not seeing the life bars. I'm not hearing the roars of this thing. I'm not hearing potential dialogue that's going on. Spells being cast. Sound effects. Maybe there's dynamic stages that crunch and crackle. You know, I'm, th I'm trying to think of all that as best as I can. And that's where this stuff really shines because it amplifies everything so much into like a cinematic level. It's like having a movie in your in your hands, you know. And that's kind of what I've always felt with Monster Hunter. It always feels like this really over the top, big cinematic experience. Every time I've heard of or seen Monster Hunter, it's always during a fight and a big, huge dragon, or wyvern, or monster, or whatever. I've never seen like pictures of someone just like walking around or doing anything like side quests or something i don't even know if that exists so let me let, let me know i'm actually curious because um i don't know if there's like <clears throat> excuse me if there's a like a known main character in monster hunter if there's ever been one or if they're just kind of like just there and the main focus is just your character that you may create and the focus is really just these guys and Something that I just thought of right now that I never really thought of before is what is the intention of this game? Is is the title a little misleading? Are you actually, I know you're hunting them, but like, are you trying to capture them or are you eliminating them? You know, uh, feel free to, to spoil. I mean, be careful. Just always, I mean, always be mindful of spoilers for everybody else. So just write like spoilers before the rest of the message. But you can tell me, um, just label it, please, I ask. Because I really doubt you can capture these things and, and add them into your, you know, Pokeball collection. If you can, that'd be insane. But it's, to me, it seems like, and I'm just guessing, it seems like every game has their own individual monsters. Maybe sometimes they return or an ancestor returns. But it just seems like the new game is like, oh, you batch of monsters, let's go beat them up. That kind of thing. It's very interesting to me. Monster Hunter is such as odd thing on this channel because like i said the first couple of videos you can watch them i'm just i'm like almost trying to come up with something not nice to say but i'm trying to just think of something to say because although i like it more now i still essentially felt the same back then where you still have to be in the game i always felt that that never changed the only thing that changed was just experiencing it more right and that's kind of normal with life. Of course, when you have more experience with something and repeat it a lot and, you know, just get familiar with it, you're going to enjoy it more. That's kind of a given. So you can't really expect every reaction video to be a hit or a miss. It's just, who knows? I have no idea what's going to happen every time I click play. It's a first time and only once. I only get it once. So I try to treat it as like blank as I can. And in this case, this was one of those games that I'm always going to remember as it was, eh. And then I'm like, yeah, dude, this is dope. And to me, honestly, it doesn't sound like any other soundtrack. There's similar stuff, yes. But I think Monster Hunter sounds like Monster Hunter. It's epic as hell. It's super intimidating. And it's just so well done. <laughs> also, the, I mean, I, I mean, I don't really talk about gameplay or anything like that. But I mean, I can't help but notice every time I've seen one of these characters... They have an amazing character designs. Like, incredible. That looks frightening. And I can't even imagine just the scale of it. I mean, yeah, I can kind of see it from this picture. But then I look at this. Where was it? This. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. That's literally the size of the whole cave. The characters look a little interesting, too. I see, like, on the right, there's, like, a, a unicorn-looking character. I don't know, man. Monster Hunter is so interesting to me because it's something that I enjoy, yet I would never hear it out in the open or like outside of reaction videos. Or if I was playing the game, I wouldn't hear it outside the game. And the closest thing I can relate to that would be God of War because I love God of War. 
and during playing god of war feels like a like woo you know but i i, I don't listen to god of war music outside that's my closest comparison i would have to say okay so let me know how you got into Monster Hunter. What do you think of Monster Hunter World? Is it one of the better games? Is it kind of sleeper? I don't know. What is what is considered the best game? Whatever you want to tell me about Monster Hunter, tell me because it doesn't really show up all that often on this channel. But when it does, I try to, uh, you know, give it the light of day. I think it's, I, I'm, I'm always excited to hear it. Um, it's just something that's caught my attention in the weirdest way, but I really enjoy it. That is Kolv, Toroth, and Basil Goose. Let me know if they're related at all or not whatsoever. Or they just happen to be in the same video. Whew. Thank you, the good two, Amelia, the great Dread Cookie, and Gabriel for the request. Thank you to all my patrons you see here. I couldn't be here without them. Thanks to you for watching. My name is Jesse. I will see you later.